what is up everyone welcome back to the channel um i want to go ahead and start off by saying i apologize for not posting videos here recently i've been having some things going on with one being as you can see here i don't have any lsp jafar installed um with that uh, i've been having problems with it so i went ahead and uninstalled everything and put a fresh clean copy of gta 5 in the directory and been having problems with it and i just haven't had time to fix it and uh i've made videos um, but I just haven't had time to edit them and haven't had time to actually post them. So along with that, I've been moving and getting new internet, also putting my PC into a new case. So with that, after it, I'm still in the process of moving, so but I have got more time now than I did before to where I can actually make videos for you and continue my LSPDFR series. So with me having to reinstall everything i thought i'd go ahead and make a video on how to install lspdfr so first thing you want to do is find your gta 5 directory which for me uh, mine's in my steam and you can either go down here to if you're using steam i'm not sure what you guys use but i use steam go here to os and c go to apps oops sorry not apps my bad go to programs file x64 go down here and find where it says steam and you go over here to where Find Steam apps, click common, and you find GTA 5, and you click that, and it'll bring up your directory right here. Or you can also go to Steam, you can go to GTA 5, wherever mine's at, right click it, properties, and local files, and browse local files, and it'll bring up your directory as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, this is, I'm gonna do kind of what first 30 minutes did. Um, he's the guy that got me started on LSPDFR. And he does really good tutorials, but I will leave his link or his channel in the description if you want to check him out. He's a really good YouTuber. I highly recommend watching him. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it in kind of in pieces like he did. It makes it a little easier. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how to install the main LSPDFR. So the link will be in the description for these. And what you want to do is we'll go down here to where it says download this file. Agree and download. And you want to click the manual install or if you want a alternate one you can click that but i use the manual install go ahead and click download that and you want to do your capture challenge i'm not a robot and download the file and once that is downloaded go ahead and go to your downloads find your lspdf4 download and then you'll have close this out I don't, I don't know why i have that you go ahead and all these files here you want to highlight all of these files except for three dots drag all of them into your gta 5 directory just like that give that a second to copy in and once they're all in there now you have lspdfr in there and since um as of right now the rage plugin hook that comes with lspdfr is outdated so what you want to do is you want to go to the rage plugin hook that i have in the description and you want to click the latest version which is right now it's 0.50104410171 you want to click that and download that and once that is downloaded whoops you'll find it in your gt or download files <clears throat> open it up and you're going to have all these files right here and you're going to do the same thing you did with lspdfr copy these and paste them in to your gta 5 directory and you'll get this folder here it says the destination files has 19 files just click replace these files in destination and then boom lspdfr is in there all right let's go ahead and launch the game and to launch this game you need to launch it through rage plugin hook so let's go ahead and double click on rage plugin hook and it's going to give you this first time disclaimer and just go ahead and click accept on that it's going to go through all the first time initializations and then it's going to make sure you have all these files and if you don't have one it'll leave you a link to get one whatever you need and go ahead and click yes on this if you want to back up your file, um, click yes. And if you don't want to back up your files, 
You can go ahead and click the X button. But I went ahead and made a backup file of my critical files just in case I was to mess up. Or what you can do is you can copy all your files you have in your directory before you install the mods and paste them into a new separate directory. So if you mess up, just copy and paste them into your new your main directory and you'll be good. And it's going to make sure if all your plugins you want it to load LSPDFR on startup and you'd leave all these alone, um, game settings alone, and then you're going to go ahead and save and launch. All right, and once you are in the game, what you want to do to load up LSPDFR, first thing you want to do is you want to press F4, or you can go to the police station and go on duty, but I press F4, type in force duty, click enter. It's going to load up all your commands that you have, and now we are on duty as a police officer. And what this gives you is just basic uh, access to all the basic callouts. Attention all units, we have a 148 in the GWC Engulfing Society. So as you can Shots see, fired. all units respond, code 99. We are already getting a call for pursuit of armed suspects. That's basically all you're going to get, really, is just is pursuits. So, um, yep, that's the basics on how to install LSP to far in its base form. Um, so, yep, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a good one.